here folks. This quick video today is going to describe how to configure the Ethernet port on a G304K2 such that you can use that to download to it instead of the serial cable. Now the 4 inch cadet model, uh, the G304 cadet, does have a serial port on it and it also has an Ethernet port. From the factory the Ethernet port is turned off so you'll have to enable it via the USB cable. Uh, so I'm going to show you how to do that and download to it. You're going to need to get from uh, Red Lion the CBL USB 4K cable to make this happen. And what you'll want to do in Crimson is uh, you can see here that I'm already using the 4 inch program right here but you'll want to do File New and you'll want to select the G304 Cadet as the model to use. And then over on the left hand side, the first thing you'll want to do is go to communications on the left and you're going to want to click on the word network over here on the left. That's going to be the Ethernet port that is on the uh, HMI. So click on network here and right here where it says port mode disabled, hit the pole down here and for this example and most often choose manual configuration. You're going to notice that the default address right here of 192.168.1.20 is the default address so I'll leave that alone for now that looks good however you're going to want to be able to download this again so go to the download tab here and hit the pull down here and enable the Ethernet download this way you'll have to download the first time through the USB but after that you'll be able to download over the Ethernet which makes it a lot faster uh, to download to this unit so this is what I'll configure here um, over on display pages I I always like to show, uh, maybe put the IP address on here so you'll know what it is. So if you go over to the lower right hand corner of Crimson and click on System, expand the Functions tree, and then come down and expand the Network Port. And the function here that you're looking for is the Get Net IP. Just grab the Get Net IP and drag it out here on your screen like so, and make it a little bigger and this should show what the IP address of the unit is when it fires up. Now this takes care of configuring it. If you go to the link pull down menu, I always teach in class, make sure you've got the support upload checked, which means that you're going to download to the screen, but you're also downloading an extractable image. So make sure there's a checkbox next to support upload. And then after you check that out, go to the link pull down again and come down to the word options. And if you happen to be using the CBL USB 4K cable, that is going to be a USB to serial con uh, converter, and then it's going to download to the HMI via the serial port. When you plug that in, it should tell you what COM port it got. So, uh, like uh, this morning, I was working with a customer, plugged it in, and it came up as COM8. So we made this number here, whatever the COM port shows up. So you'll click the OK button down here. And then when you're ready to download, hit the link pull down and hit the send button. And that should send the program down to your G304 cadet. Uh, the first time you do this, folks, uh, especially if it's a brand new cadet, it might take uh, a minute or so to download because it's downloading the first time the firmware to it and a few other things. So it might take a little bit of time. Just be patient with it. After you get it downloaded the first time, and if you had, say, this little simple program here running, the screen should come up and show this. If you plug in the Ethernet cable to your laptop uh, into a switch and then into the cadet, I don't know if those ports are auto crossover, so I always tell people put a switch, cheap hub or switch between the two. Once you got that up and done running, you go to the link, pull down and click on the word options. You'll check on the TCP IP connection here and then click the OK button. And this little warning that pops up, it just says here, hey, the target address for the TCP IP download is configured from the download tab so it's just letting you know that it's going to get its IP address of where to go based on what you set up over in the communications on the left hand side so I normally just go ahead and click OK there and then if I wanted to download again over Ethernet I do the link and send and that should take the program over Ethernet and much faster from that point on and you won't have to use the serial cable again anyway I just thought I'd make a quick video of how to do that Thanks a lot. Have a great day.